I'm working in the lab of Dr. Blake, um, working on neuroblastoma, which is a type of brain cancer, and we're looking to see if um, this growth hormone, somatostatin, is causing the cancer to grow. My friends at other colleges that I've talked to, they haven't been able to get into the labs as early as I have at Seton Hall. Um, they tend to not get in until junior year, even senior year, if they can find a place at all. But I was able at Seton Hall to come in as a second semester freshman um, and get into a professor's lab there. And she started showing me how to do some basic techniques. And then my sophomore year, I got my own research project. The honors program is different here than it is at most other universities. At most other universities, from what I've heard, it's just um, a bunch of random classes that you might just take that are a little bit harder. Here what we do is we do a history basically of the world from ancient Mesopotamia to the this morning's papers um, and we go through and we look at all the different aspects of it, the politics, the literature, the art, the religion, the science, uh, everything. The honors takes us into the city a lot so because of that I've been able to go and I've been able to see operas, Broadway plays, we went to the Met, the Cloisters, the Rubin Museum. So it's been, honors has been a great opportunity to get to go into the city. Being in the honors program has basically shown me how to approach a problem and look at it from a bunch of different angles, uh, because that's what we have to do, be able to do in honors when we read the text, is we can't just take the literal meaning, you have to look at it from all the different angles. And that has helped me in the science classes by being able to run into a pro When I run into a problem with my experiment, I can go and I can try to look at different angles and figure out what might have been wrong. In one history of science class talking about uh, basically the development of quantum mechanics, and the professor started going off about how when you get down to the submolecular level you can't trust your senses anymore and things go all crazy and you can't make sense of what's going on just by looking at it so you have to throw away your senses and develop new tools to do that and that's exactly what Rene Descartes said which we read in honors and it was his exact argument but this time instead of being applied to our normal world applied to the world of quantum mechanics so it's cool to see those parallels that you wouldn't necessarily expect to see one of the reasons I came to Seton Hall was because I didn't want to be sitting in a class of 900 of my closest friends learning organic chemistry. Um, I wanted to be able to come to a university that I knew would have smaller class sizes so I could get more individual attention. Last summer I did an internship at the Stowers Institute for Medical Research in Kansas City. Um, and it's a large research institution there, the only one in Kansas City and one of the largest in the Midwest. Um, and having been in a research lab for a year and a half at Seton Hall, um, I think strengthened my application. I think Seton Hall helped give me a competitive edge to be able to get into this internship program that was drawing people from all over the world. Yeah.